Good evening, everyone. The entertainment world is mourning a shocking loss tonight. Liam Payne, the former singer of one of the world's biggest bands, has died after falling from a hotel balcony in Argentina. This, the scene earlier this evening. Stunned fans gathering outside the hotel in Buenos Aires, consoling one another, lighting candles and singing songs in tribute. We can leave. Payne was 31 and one of the founding members of the band One Direction when it was formed in 2010. He leaves behind a child, sharing this photo of his son earlier this year, looking up at a billboard of his father. Let's get straight to CTV's Heather Wright. And Heather, what are you learning about what happened? Well, Omar, Liam Payne had been in Argentina for at least two weeks. He was seen earlier this month at the concert of one of his former One Direction bandmates. And police say he fell from a third floor balcony and died on the spot. The circumstances of Payne's death are still under investigation, but according to local authorities, police were dispatched to the hotel after a call about, quote, an aggressive man who could be under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Police found his body in the courtyard when they arrived. This really is just shocking information uh, to come out, especially him being so young in age, just 31 years old, and for it to happen in such a tragic way. Payne shot to fame in 2010 as one of five members of the band One Direction, which formed when each singer auditioned for the British singing competition The X Factor. The band broke up in 2016, each pursuing a solo career. Payne released a new single called Teardrops in March. The 31-year-old had been candid about his mental health challenges, including addiction, depression and thoughts of suicide. In 2023, he revealed he had gone 100 days without alcohol. Payne leaves behind a seven-year-old son. Officials in Buenos Aires say they will continue to investigate and an autopsy will be performed. Omar. All right, Heather, thank you.